This segment sponsored by Bounty. This past year, people around the world spent more time in their homes than usual, with many of us also working and homeschooling from our place of residence. So we've got a tip on how to make sure you're keeping your home, and particularly your kitchen, as hygienic as possible. Here's what you need to know. What you use to clean with can be just as important as the actual cleaning itself because the tool that we choose to use plays a role in how effective we are at getting surfaces clean. And when we clean up messes around the house, more than half of Americans choose dishcloths as a cleaning tool. But did you know that a recent study found that after one month of use, 49% of the dishcloths observed exhibited growth of bacteria normally found in or on the human body. Take a look at how this can happen. Bacteria are attracted to warm, moist environments like kitchen cloths, and used cotton towels can be big culprits because cotton is more absorbent than nylon and other synthetic fabrics. So it's better able to hold the moisture that bacteria need to grow. And if used dish towels are not cleaned properly, they can harbor and spread bacteria. Here's how that can happen. Did you know that when wiping unclean kitchen surfaces, the messes can be spread throughout the kitchen when the same towel is used to wipe counters, the kitchen table, and the stove? To demonstrate, take a look at this black light imaging of how a used dishcloth can spread messes onto different surfaces unlike a fresh sheet of paper towels. Cross-contamination is a factor that can run rampant in kitchens, causing microbes to spread and multiply easily. So when it comes to cleaning, how do you know if it's really getting clean? Well, here's what we found out. A good replacement for dishcloths is paper towels since they hold up to kitchen messes. Since paper towels are single use, they can play a role in preventing the spread of bacteria. Though just like with dish towels, make sure to not reuse a single-use towel as it can lead to the risk of cross-contamination between your hands, surfaces, or other food products. And you don't want that to happen. And remember to frequently wash your hands with soap and warm water to help keep commonly touched surfaces clean and to help prevent recontamination. Stay tuned, there's more to come here on The Doctors.